Hello everyone. Today, get ready to unlock the power of proxy servers with us. What is a proxy server? So, that is the topic of this video. Let's jump to a proxy server's basic definition. It is a server that retrieves data out on the internet, such as a web page or file, on behalf of a user. For example, when you would like to open a web page on the internet, you will open a web browser and then type in the search engine the web address and retrieve the page from its web server. Now, when you go through a proxy server, the proxy server acts like a middleman and retrieves that web page for you. So now, when you want to go to a website, the proxy server receives the request from your laptop, directly retrieves the web page on your behalf, and then sends it to your laptop. So, why would you want to use a proxy server? Well, a proxy has several benefits. One of the most important for many internet users is privacy, as it allows you to surf the internet anonymously and helps hide your IP address. For example, when you visit a website without using a proxy, your public IP address is visible so certain people can know which websites you're visiting. But when you use a proxy, your IP address becomes invisible because the proxy server retrieves the web page for you and replaces your IP address with the proxy server's IP address. That means only the proxy server's IP address can be seen when viewing the web page. So, your IP address stops here, and then the proxy IP does the rest of the work. The second benefit of using a proxy server is speed and security, especially for companies. For example, if a company uses a proxy server, and this is a common solution, and whenever a user wants to retrieve a web page, the proxy server will retrieve the web page from the internet on behalf of the user, and then it'll store that web page into a centralized cache database. Then, if another user on a different laptop goes to a web page that has been stored in the proxy database, the proxy server doesn't have to go out on the internet to retrieve the web page. It can simply retrieve it from its database and then send it to the user. This makes web page retrieval much faster. We can also see another benefit, bandwidth savings, as a proxy server reduces the need to go to the internet to retrieve data because it already has that data stored in its database. Another benefit is improving security by companies. What do I mean by that? It means a proxy to keep track of what websites their employees are looking at. When a company's employee is surfing the internet, the proxy will record what websites they're visiting and how long they spent on those websites. The company can configure the proxy to block certain websites to keep their employees from visiting them. Where do users also use web proxy? Users can also use it in bypassing filters and censorship. For example, users who want to access internet servers, but the servers use IP-based geolocation to restrict their services to a certain country. It can be accessed using a proxy located in that country to access the service. Can we use multiple web proxies to reach the web page? Yes, that's possible. Criminal activities usually use this method to make it more challenging to track their source, but authorities have enough power to find the source even behind multiple web proxies. Is it dangerous to use web proxies? Definitely, yes, if you use hostile web proxies. Proxies can be installed in order to eavesdrop upon the data flow between client machines and the web. All content sent or accessed, including passwords submitted and cookies used, can be captured and analyzed by proxy operators like ISPs, governments or hackers. For this reason, passwords to online services such as webmail and banking should always be exchanged over a cryptographically secured connection, such as SSL. Now, we start talking about VPNs, or virtual private networks, which provide a dedicated secure tunnel between two points over the internet. And this will be the topic for the next video. So that's it for our proxy servers. If you have any questions drop them below and as always thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights. I'll see you on the next one.